Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, Pisces, it's Dana. What's going on, you guys? What is happening? How's the water feeling out there, Pisces? Nice and calm and warm and nice and okay for you Pisces <laughs> we're gonna throw some cards it's your monthly Pisces reading so let's just get these cards situated give me a chance to channel I'm gonna confuse the heck out of you I will sew together a story and I will read it straight from the top all right Pisces so come on in snuggle up let's see what these cards have to say oh Queen of Wands trying to fly out all right all right all right, all right. spirit source universal energy i have the collective of pisces with me spirit and they want to know what you know what do you know about pisces and what does pisces need to know and understand about themselves their lives and their futures spirit what's coming towards this particular pisces what do they need to know what do they need to look out for what do they need to look forward to and how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good? Their very best and highest good. Spirit, please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. Please tell me where the stopping point is for Pi Ooh, Right there, Pisces. I will cut three times and pull straight from the top. All right, let's do it. Let's go. One, two, three. Three, one, two, and three. Bottom of the deck, the four of wands. Two, the hermit, four of wands, the hermit, prince of wands in reverse, ace of cups in reverse, and the ten of pentacles. All right. All right. First card out. Hangman in reverse. Pisces themselves. Delays, stalling. Princess of wands, some kind of inspiration maybe a message ace of pentacles in reverse nine of pentacles independent self-sufficient eight of swords in reverse a new perspective the tower to the ten of cups the sun in the center of your reading the ace of swords in reverse and the five of wands in reverse okay 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 the three of wands the hierophant the Devil in Reverse, the Seven of Wands, Death, and the Moon to the Nine of Swords, Nine of Cups in Reverse, the High Priestess, the Seven of Swords, Nine of Wands, and the King of Cups to the Emperor. Fantastic. All right. Let's see what this is all about, you guys. Let's see what this is all about. So, the hangman in reverse, first card out, sets the tone for everything to the hangman in the upright. Okay, alrighty then. And the princess of wands, what is this about? What's the princess of wands about right here? Enthusiasm, excitement, exploration, discovery, messages. What is this princess of wands about? The three of swords. Okay. <laughs> So is there a message that's going to cause some grief? What's the Three of Swords about right here? What's the Three Wheel of Fortune? Huh, okay. All right, Pisces, there is a relationship coming straight at you like a freight train, Pisces. Like a freight train, but there you are in your card, The Hangman. First card out sets the tone for everything, but you're in the reverse. This is resistance, delays, stalling. I think that you're like in a bubble, Pisces. You're just like doing your thing and not really paying attention to what's going on because the hanged man in the upright that clarifies it says that you need to take a step back and get a new perspective about some things because you've been just just hanging 
for way too long. You need to let go, get some new perspectives, and, and change the way that you are thinking about something. King of Swords. You need to make some, some, you need to get your mind in the game, okay? Mind in the game, Pisces. Mind in the game. And make some really serious decisions about your life. The Fool. Because there is a brand new journey and a brand new beginning right in front of you. Right in front of you, Pisces. Eight of Wands in reverse. But your lack of action is delaying the whole program. What's the lack of action? Well, you're hanging in that hangman in reverse, right? This is Pisces being detached and disconnected. To the Princess of Wands, there's a message. There is a message coming to you, Pisces. There is a message that is going to need some action of some sort from you. The Three of Swords. That's what you've been hanging in the hangman in reverse for so long about. Grief and sorrow and pain of some sort, some way that you're carrying in your mind. And that's what is stalling the game. That is what is delaying everything. They want you to come to terms, surrender, cut yourself loose from the tree with that sharp sword of the King of Swords right there and make some very discerning, logical decisions for yourself okay the fool because there is a new beginning a new journey a new way some kind of freedom some kind of offer that is going to uh, be on the table for you pisces eight of wands in reverse but this slothfulness of this pisces right here um isn't going to be able to recognize it or keep up with it or allow it to transform in their life because they're holding on to some kind of bullshit in the mind wheel of fortune says it's here it's a turning point pisces it's a huge turning point uh -huh. It's the divinely orchestrated steps of your path. It's the universe saying we are trying to lead you, guide you, and show you the path of your best and highest good. And if you will allow us, we will escort you there. But Pisces is all hung up in their head, three of pentacles in reverse, about how something didn't work before. Ace of pentacles in reverse, how something didn't grow, something didn't get off the ground, some kind of lost opportunity or missed opportunity or screwed up opportunity. It used to be teamwork and collaboration, but somehow, some way, it went south, and it's not anymore. That's what Pisces is all hung up in, and the universe is saying, no, 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 no. We got to keep going. We have to keep going, Pisces. We need you to get with the program here. To the Nine of Pentacles. Stand up straight. Brush yourself off. Do the work that you got to do to get yourself in a position where you can be self-sufficient, independent, and strong. Three of Wands. Because you need to begin to prepare for what's coming to you, Pisces. The Seven of Cups. Options, choices, decisions, illusion, wishful thinking, Tell me about this wishful thinking of the Seven of Cups right here, please. Tell me about this. The Knight of Cups in reverse, right? Okay, so illusion that there, that, okay, so the Knight of Cups in reverse is about your emotional expectations not being met, okay? Emotional expectations not being met has you delusioned in the Seven of Cups. And they need you. What's this, right? This is this missed opportunity. This is why you're hanging in the tree, right? <clears throat> they need you to get strong and get it together so you can see what's coming. Eight of Swords in reverse. They need you to get a new perspective. A new perspective to the Empress. Um, the Empress, I don't want to be a huge buzzkill here, but we have the Empress to the Emperor, the King of Wands to the Queen of Wands, the King of Pentacles, I think, to the Queen of Pentacles somewhere around here somewhere, okay? So the Three of Wands, the Empress, the Empress is saying for you to stand in your power. Point your mind towards where your guts are telling you to go and do it without question, with absolute 100% faith that your intuition, your internal 
compass is your soul speaking to your consciousness, trying to lead you in the direction of your best and highest good. Point your mind towards that so you can overcome whatever emotional, whatever bummer happened to you in the past, Pisces, that you're kind of ruminating on a little bit. It needs to go to the wayside because it is the sandbags that's keeping the flood of good fortune from coming into your life. They need you to stand in your power as the Empress because they're about to bring you an Emperor. Ace of Cups. Emotional growth. They need you to emotionally grow from whatever wounding this is that you have here so you can be open, ready, and prepared for love. Mm-hmm. 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 The Tower. This was the past, right? This is all this boohoo stuff up here, right? This is the past. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. If you keep crawling through the rubble of the tower, trying to make sense out of why it never held together for you, you're going to completely and totally just waste away your existence in this present time. Okay? If you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to continue to get what you've always gotten. And the time is now for something new and fresh and exciting, Pisces. The Seven of Wands. This, this again, see, this guy is on the defensive instead of on the offensive. It's like you're kind of like protecting yourself from what happened instead of owning, like the Nine of Wands would do, own what happened and push forward to the Six of Swords. You need to leave all this mental bullshit behind you. Why? Well, the sun is in the center of your reading. The, the universe is trying with that wheel of fortune right there to lead you in the direction of your best and highest good. But you got to put on your empress robe to be able to do that. You have to manifest according to where they're trying to lead you because they're going to lead you to exactly where it is that you need to be to step into the Ten of Cups. To meet this other person and step into an emotionally aligned and viable relationship. <clears throat> the sun in the center of the reading, they're trying to show you the path. The king of wands, the king of pentacles. Um, the king of wands and the king of pentacles is significant because we have a queen of wands down here, just like we have an emperor to the empress. And this king of pentacles, I think that we have a queen of pentacles down here in just a little bit. Oh, and I think we have the king and queen of cups too. Okay, so you have you have this significant relationship coming to you. It's someone who is stable, steady, and secure, but yet also has a little bit of flash and flair and excitement. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like I don't know who this is for, but this is like everything that you've ever wanted. You you got someone that is calm, cool, collected, successful, and solid, male or female, and. In addition to that, they maybe they own their own company, honestly, truly. This could be a, a business owner or perhaps you are about to become a business owner. Honestly, truly. Um, this is um, either going to be you in some kind of successful business endeavor or you in some kind of successful romantic endeavor. Okay? Uh, yeah. Anywho, justice. It's in your best interest. It's your just rewards, Pisces. It's what you get. It's what you get for cleaning out the closet, putting your focus on your soul path, and driving forward no matter what. Mm -hmm. It's what's in your best interest. If this is a business opportunity for you, it's going to be outrageously successful. If this is um, a business owner that you are, are joining forces with, it's going to be extremely successful. Um, for some of you, this King of Pentacles and this King of Wands is one of you and the other of you. Justice coming together with the Sun and the Ten of Cups says it's going to be extremely successful. 
if this is a partnership of some sort, it's going to be extremely successful. Whether it's love, relationship, work, money, finance, it's going to be extremely successful and it is in your best interest to get your shit together so you can see it for what it is when it shows up. What's the problem? Ace of Swords in reverse to the Queen of Swords in reverse. Uh, your mind is consumed with something else. That Three of Swords right there. Your mind is consumed with something else. And you need to clear your mind because back to the Empress. Lesson number one is the Magician. What you think about comes about. And right now your mind is stuck in a in a in a in a place that is not productive for what your future needs from you. Okay? Your mind is not in the game at all. And the Queen of Swords in reverse is someone who is being irresponsible. Just like that hangman in reverse. Irresponsible with the preciousness of the power of your mind. The Five of Wands in reverse, the avoidance of responsibility, being stuck in this thing is you avoiding the responsibility of taking some kind of accountability, closing down whatever this is for whomever it is, and stepping forward because you're letting your past dictate your present and your present is preventing your future. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. It's a waste of your time. And this is also about a financial setback because if you don't see this right here, um, if this is a business thing for you, if you don't see this right here, you're going to miss it. Two of Swords in reverse. Can't see nothing at this big old crossroads. Just can't see. Can't see the forest through the trees. Three of Wands says get ready and prepare. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Get ready. To the Hierophant, because some kind of commitment, contract, obligation, marriage, uh, diploma, degree, something is headed at you like a freight train, Pisces, right? And the Hierophant in reverse, but you're not committed right now. You're not committed to it. Why aren't you committed to it? Because you are ruminating on something that is an absolute and complete and total waste of time. Maybe you're ruminating on some kind of lack of success on a personal level. It's just a waste of time to ruminate on anything ever. Just roll with the punches, take them as they come, learn the most that you can possibly learn about yourself, your life, and your soul path and keep going you got things to do pisces you have so you have things to accomplish spiritual things to accomplish spiritual growth to accomplish and the other side would love nothing more than for you to just miss all of this awesomeness look page of pentacles in reverse to the hierophant in reverse you can't manifest if you're not committed to manifesting uh-huh. You cannot manifest if you're not committed to manifesting. And they need you to manifest, Pisces. Devil in Reverse talks about releasing your limiting beliefs. It's an attachment that's a restriction to your growth. What's that? Whatever this underlying thing is, they're trying to get you to let go of. To the Nine of Wands in Reverse, overwhelmed by it. Let go of it. Let go of it. Seven of Wands. Again, defending yourself from it all the time. Stop. Death. Bring an absolute end to this whole situation right here. Bring an end to it so you can step through some kind of threshold and transform the star. Because your path and your purpose is on the other side of this. Perhaps this is someone that doesn't want to quit a job and become an entrepreneur. Maybe that's why that hangman is in reverse for someone. Don't want to quit a job to become an entrepreneur, but you know in your chest that this, that being an entrepreneur or a new business or a new venture of some sort is what you want more than anything, but you're afraid to let go. Uh-huh, that could be it for someone. But your path and your purpose. New love, new job, new money new situation, new circumstances, new sense of well-being. It's like it's like I can't I can't tell you how much. It's like right it's like right right here, Pisces. It's right here. And all you have to do is change your mindset 
about something that you're dwelling on that makes a hill of beans in the end of everything and focus your manifestation on going in the direction that your guts are telling you to go, that your chest is telling you to go in. Seriously, it's a massive transformation of your life. It's your path and your purpose with the star card. And look, Emperor in the Ten of Cups. For someone out there, you're about to go hop into, you're about to hop into a huge, gigantic, amazing love relationship. And if you will allow the universe to divinely orchestrate the steps of your path, it will be unlike any relationship that you have ever stepped into in your whole entire life because this will be the first relationship for most of you that you have allowed the universe to divinely orchestrate. An arranged relationship, so to speak. Seriously. If this is a business opportunity, you are about to join forces with someone who is equal to and better than in a lot of ways yourself. You, The two of you complement each other. You are better than them in some ways and they are better than you in some ways. And the two of you together create ultimate completion. Mm-hmm. It's a beautiful thing. Whatever this is for whoever this is for is freaking phenomenal. The moon, but there's old Pisces struggling. Struggling, struggling, struggling between that which they know to be true and that which they really don't want to accept as the truth. Why? The page of cups in reverse. Because of unmet emotional expectations. The nine of swords that caused a lot of grief and sorrow and pain. The Nine of Cups in reverse that caused a lot of emotional dissatisfaction. The High Priestess comes on top of this and says, Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Pisces right there. You're all over this reading. Pisces right there. The High Priestess. Your soul speaks to your consciousness through your intuition. You of Everyone knows and understands this, Pisces. What are your guts telling you? Not your mind, not your friends, not your family, not your spouse. What are your guts telling you, Pisces? Mm -hmm. Seven of Swords, because you're, you're screwing yourself here. See, the Seven of Swords is about like a shortcut in this particular instance of getting away with something. There is no shortcut. You must come out of whatever it is that has you, that has you swimming upstream, Pisces. You got to come out of that. There is no shortcut. You just have to close it down once and for all. Nine of Wands. Be resilient and persistent. Fight the good fight and follow your soul path instead of your human understanding of the way that things should be. The human understanding is I'm sad, I'm hurt, I got hurt, I lost, I got fired, I got canned, I got left behind, I got rejected, and I just really don't want to, and I just don't want to. I just don't want to. No, you can't. You have to fight the good fight because the King of Cups and the Emperor are headed straight towards you, Pisces. They are. They are headed directly towards you. This is a union, no matter what form it takes, that is soulfully significant in your life, Pisces. It is a meant-to-be relationship. Whether it be love, money, work, career, family, friends, it's meant to be. Is it forever and always, amen? I don't know. It depends on who this is for. If this was your reading, we could be able to dive into all of it and tell you exactly what's happening. But this is a general reading, and I have no idea what's who I'm reading for right here. All I know is they desperately want you to get your shit together because there's something very, very, very huge that is about to enter into your life. But as long as you, your free will is ruminating on something that is not in your best and highest good, it can't come through. Through. It just can't like literally come through. Mm -hmm. King of Cups, the Emperor. Emperor, the Empress, the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands. 
I, I'm telling you, y'all are like a perfect match, no matter what kind of relationship it is. Ace of Pentacles. And it's a brand new start in a in your sense of well-being. It's a brand new opportunity for you. Death, and it's going to transform your life. It's going to absolutely, positively transform your life. Ten of Pentacles. And it's going to put you in a position of a great deal of security, safety, and financial security. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ace of Cups in reverse to the Prince of Wands in reverse. There's all that downtrodden, right? Hermit says, sit with me. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's have an out loud conversation. And let's talk about what it is that you're missing here, Pisces, and what it is that you need to sew up. And if you will sit down and have an out loud heart-to-heart -heart conversation with whatever you have decided to call Source Energy you will find some resolve, some direction, and some answers. The Four of Cups. They're going to tell you how to secure this extremely stable, long-term relationship. Work, career, money, finance. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. But you got to get over maybe apathy. Maybe there's, maybe it's just like, apathy or procrastination maybe with that hangman in reverse maybe you're procrastinating on something and the universe is like chop 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 we got to get this going on interesting like i said if this was your reading we could have really nailed it down and given you so much more information but it's a general reading so i hope it helped someone if you want your cards read hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org namaste